County Council regular meeting for January 25th to order. If you haven't done so, please silence your phone. Um, after the Pledge of Allegiance, I would ask everybody to um, pause for a moment of silence for former council attorney Don Bogger. He served in many positions over the years, including County Council Attorney Solid Waste, Chief Deputy Prosecutor for LaPorte County, and LaPorte County Fair Board. He finished his career with LaPorte City. We'd also like a moment of silence for Jackie Santana Gonzer, the sister of former council member Jeff Santana, and for all the people who have lost the battle with COVID and for those still recovering from COVID and cancer. So if we could, uh, Mr. Mr. Kelsey, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Roll call, Mr. Roger. Councilman Garner. Terry, is he on? Yes. Okay. You have Councilman Garner present? I'm trying to move the phone that isn't working, I guess. Uh, Councilman Rosenbaum. Present. Councilman Molenauer. Present. Councilman Cunningham. Present. Councilman Yagelski. Present. Councilman Novak. Present. And Councilwoman Gramarosa. Councilwoman Gramarosa. Is she on? No, I don't see her. Darlene is. No, this. Connie on? Councilwoman Connie Gramarosa. I don't. Um, you have uh, six or seven. Connie did not connect through Zoom. Uh, so we have six, six members present. Thank you. Uh, approval of the January 25th, 2021 agenda. I'd like to make a uh, motion, but I'd also like to add the appointment to the boards. Uh, I'm not sure where we want to be placing that. Do we do that after the approval of the liaison assignments? Uh, yeah, that'd be a good point. Okay. With that being added? But just for the record, uh, if I may, uh, Your Honor, uh, the uh, Councilman... Uh, uh, under item number four, new business request for county po council appointment of board members. Or but it's not on this agenda. Where do you start? I'm sorry. I Excuse me. Sorry, it's under new business. All right. Thank you for the correction. There's something else? Yes, sir. Uh, I'm for uh, uh, Mr. President. Also, like that resolution number 2021 20, 2. Thank you. And then uh, we also need to remove the uh, LaPorte County planner who was on the agenda for matching. Uh, correct? That is correct. We need to remove it for 996974 So we're taking that off at this time. Anything else? So the motion, second, second, second by Mr. motion sign. Second Mr. bomb, second by Mr. Yudelski. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed. Thank you. Next item is the um, approval of the November 23rd mini minute meeting. I'd like to make a motion to approve with one minor change on page five um, under the liaison reports. It was under Councilman Gardner. Uh, it's F-M-E-C, not F-E-M-C. Correct. Mm -hmm. Out of all of that, that's what I found. She's not part of me. No, it is part of me. All right. So there's a motion for the minutes. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes as corrected. Abstain. Let the record show that... Uh, Councilman Gramarosa is on ask Zoom now on your so just so that the record shows. Mr. President, let the record uh, show that Mr. Cunningham 
abstained because I was not present for the November 23rd meeting. Thank you, Mr. Cunningham. Noted. Next item is approval of the December 9th, 2020 special meeting. I'll make the motion to approve. Second. Motion by Mr. Rosenbaum, second by Mr. Moldauer. Is there any questions? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Noted. Next item on the agenda is approval of the January 4th reorganizational minute meeting minutes. What's your preference? Motion. Motion to approve. We have a motion by Mr. Rosenbaum, second by Mr. Yukowski. Is there any other questions? I thought it was by Mr. Molinar because I didn't get a chance to say that. It was. Is Is Molinar? Didn't I? Did I say Rosenbaum? I don't know. Took him all now. I right. let somebody else do it once. All right. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed. Thank you. Approval of the January 13, 2021 special meeting. Meeting minutes. Bless you. Motion to approve. Motion by Mr. Rosenbaum. Second. Second by Mr. Galski. Is there any questions? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. All aye. opposed? Next time on the agenda is public comment. Anybody from the public would like to speak? Is there anybody on Zoom that would like to speak? Anybody from the public that would like to speak? Anybody from the public? Hearing none, public comment is now closed. Department head reports. Any department heads that would like to report? Mr. President. Yes. Yeah, this is uh, Commissioner Rosinski. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, how are you doing tonight? I just saw on your agenda that you have uh, the annual budget for the Port County Office of Community and Economic Development. They, they are right in the office right next to the commissioners, so I see uh, Tony, Matt, and Bailey very regularly throughout the week. They keep me up to date on what's going on. I just wanted to speak very briefly here on their efforts. Uh, they're still working on that Love's Travel Plaza and, and the sewer extension. The uh, KIP, they've got two potential rail projects that are finally starting to move. Of course, we all know about the Corsicana Mattress Company. Uh, they have some new tip areas under consideration for future development. Uh, they are continually improving the expansion and retention program. In fact, we had one, I think, Randy, you were there with us when we did uh, by Zoom, matter of fact, with the EPAC extension. Yep. They finished the two small business stimulus packages. We actually had a, a, a potential project on 39 North where, uh, with some potential investors, where Tony actually had a drone to show the investors the different spots of, available up there for that. So I just wanted to speak on the behalf that they're doing an amazing job. Uh, it's really heartwarming and uh, to see our, uh, our investment in that office paying off with a lot of uh, new projects and uh, very proud of what all they're doing there. So just wanted to speak on that briefly. So thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, thank you Commissioner Brzezinski. Is there anybody else from the public or department heads? Sorry. Any other department heads? Any other department head? Hearing none, we'll move on to uh, approval of liaison assignments. Um, I sent out a list, I think at the end of last week. Um, is there a motion? Motion to approve. We have a motion by Mr. Moldenauer. Second. Seconded by Mr. Cunningham. Is there any other questions? If anybody wants to trade, uh, talk to the other person, and then just let me know, and we can get it approved at a meeting. So, all those in favor, say aye. Aye. Those opposed. Thank you. Um, next item is we're going to do the appointments of open boards um, that the council has. The first one we're going to do is the Michigan City Library. Um, 
bear with me while I pull up the sheet. Uh, Judy Lang has expressed she's the one that had it. She has stated that she is no longer going to be on the library board. So at this time, is there any nomination? Mr. President, um, in light of the fact that Stacy Benning has withdrawn her previous application for this board assignment, right. I would like to speak very highly of her application as well. And I think she would be an outstanding appointment for future boards. But uh, I believe that leaves us with um, Dale. And in light of the fact that uh, she is the only applicant that I'm aware of, Dale Cooper, I would not make that nomination. And she has endorsement letters from Don Glossinger of the library and also from Jack Arnett uh, for a present employer at the Convention Tourism Bureau. Mr. President, I'd like to second that. So. Motion by Mr. Cunningham, seconded by Mr. Molnar. Councilman Gramarosa, did you second that too, or no? No. Okay. I thought I heard, so I, I'm having trouble hearing what's going on up there. So. Are there any other nominations? Any other nominations? Any none? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. Sorry, as a point of order, we are we are doing the boards and the board nominations now, as opposed to a new business, correct? You know what I wrote it on here. Yes, we're doing them now. So just so we're rearranging. Yeah. So we're rearranging that. Just so the public knows what's going right. on. That's all. I I'd written it on my agenda ahead of time. So very good. So we'll just continue with that. Is that okay? Is everybody good with that? Yes. Good. All right. Next item is the Alcohol Beverage Board. Mr. President. Mr. President. Okay. I would like to uh, make a recommendation after talking with uh, our attorney that we always reconsider the person that's on any board as a matter of courtesy or respect and consider them our first nomination. I would like the board's uh, approval to make that a standard policy for all board assignments in the future. Oh, is there a second to that? Second. 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 We have a motion by Mr. Cunningham, seconded by Mr. Gardner. Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? So now the alcoholic, alcoholic board, beverage board, <laughs> president. <laughs> Well, it says alcoholic beverage board. Sorry about that. Mr. President. Yes. I'd like to make a nomination for Mr. Ron Schaefer to the alcohol beverage board, which he has served on different numerous boards throughout the county in the past. Mr. Gardner nominated Ron Schaefer. Is there a second? Mr. Cunningham, our uh, point of order is Mr. Cunningham, did you ask that the, that the another candidate? Okay. So, as I understand it, Mr. Steinle is already on the board. He's looking to Stimley. Stimley. Stimley will be our first vote, correct? Yes. Okay. So, therefore, we don't need to nominate. He's automatic. Right. He's automatically nominated. Okay. Thank you. Is there is a second. I second? Second for Ron Schaefer. Seconded by Mr. Yagowski. Are there any other nominations? Mr. President, I'd like to nominate Dwayne Miller. I'll second that. So we have a motion by Mr. Cunningham, second by Mr. Rosenbaum for Dwayne Miller. Are there any other nominations? Mr. President, yes. I'd like to nominate, uh, reinstate, to reinstate uh, John Stimley, who's presently on the board. Thank you. So just, just for clarification here, uh, Mr. Cunningham made a motion that if the previous person is on the board and they want to stay on there, they're automatically nominated. Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear right. that so well, but okay. No, yeah. I just wanted to clarify that. So we already had uh, Mr. Stimley on our list. Okay, so thank we, you. I'm sorry. Right now we have three nominations. We have John Stimley, Ron Schaefer, and Dwayne Miller. Is there anybody else? 
Any other nominations? Any other nominations? Nominations are closed. How do you want to do this? Each one at one time. Yes, one position. Then you're going to have to go, Mr. Steinle first. Then, then Mr. Steinle first. Excuse me, Steinle. Whatever you want. And if he gets the vote, then you don't need to go any okay. further. Mr. President, Mr. Egas, this is just as a point of what I had made last year, there was some misunderstanding. This John Stimley is the, this the father. He worked at he owned two of the uh, taverns in Michigan City. Um, this is uh, because uh, the son has jobs in Michigan City, and people question that. So this is the father's position uh, running for the board, not the son's. This is John, not John. John Jr. Right. Any other questions or comments? So the first one we'll call the roll on is, is Mr. Stimley. Uh, will the clerk call the roll? Councilman. No. What? No, I'm going to ask. We're going to do this alphabetically. Correct? So um, I will clarify that what we are doing is, um, uh, assuming it's the council's pleasure, is that a random number generator was used to create a list of council people, uh, and only I and my deputy are aware of it. Um, and so these numbers are generated completely randomly off, off of Google, a software, a Google uh, a website, and so they're going to be unpredictable, which is something that a few council people talk to me about. If you want it done differently, we'll do it. It's well, in the first meeting, we went alphabetically. So no, 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 we did not do that. Are you talking about alphabetically for the nominations or the council? No, alphabetically for us voting. Isn't that how we did it no. for the first meeting? The first meeting, did we have a motion where we were going to do it, we were going to vote alphabetically? I believe we did do it alphabetically. No, we didn't. I did it by the order of nomination. By oh, I mean, by no, no, not, for, not for the nominations. When we called the vote for the council we, members, what order the council yeah, members last? <laughs> right. Should the council members be voting when he calls the roll alphabetically, as we have in the past, and then he just rotates one so that it's not the same person necessarily all the time, or how do you want to do it? Random generator is the best by far, in my opinion. So it wasn't okay for the first meeting, but now we're going to do it this way. Okay. Sounds good. Just so that we know that the, we did it one way the first time, and now we're changing it. Um, I, I will take responsibility as the auditor. It was the, it was the way that I, as a newly elected auditor, had intended to do it, which I thought was fair. Some council people pointed out it's not fair because whoever's got the last name, the first name, um, is, uh, you know, reveals his cards or whatever. Uh, so uh, I, this, after some discussion with a few council people, uh, this was a method that was deemed to be uh, fairer, but it's up to the pleasure of the council. Okay, there was no problem with fairness on the first meeting. So, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll Mr. proceed. Mr. President. Mr. Cunningham. In light of the fact that our first meeting was on uh, January 4th, the first day in office for Mr. Stabos, um, I, I don't want to pin the blame on him. I think that... Uh, oh, well, he wasn't the one that made the motion. Excuse me, Mr. Scramarosa. I will speak we'll, we'll now to make sure this is clear. I'm going to make a motion that we use a random generator for the order of the vote on all future votes until... We change that so, you know, until next year at reorganization meeting. For all I care, I think we should do it continuously. Uh, so I'll make that motion now to, to clear the air. We have a motion by okay. Mr. Cunningham, seconded by Mr. Gardner. Is that correct? Yes. All right. Are there any other questions, comments on this motion? This is generated with a lot of Yeah. This is generated work for a lot of tickets. I'm just curious. Yeah. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? So that will be the way it's done from here on out. So, was, was there any opposition? Oh, no. Not that I didn't hear any. Randy? Yes. I, I believe the previous auditor did it this way also for, geez, I'm going to say her eight years in office. So, I think this is the proper way to do it. Right. I think she rotated everybody. Yeah. Anyway, thank you, Mr. Gardner. Any other? 
item spoke, Mr. Clerk, call the roll. I think that's what we're doing. Mr. Auditor, not Clerk, uh, you are voting on the uh, Alcohol Beverage Board right. uh, nomination. First, first person that we're voting on is Steve uh, John Stimley. Councilman Garner. Aye. Councilman Yagelski. Aye. Councilman Molinar. Aye. Councilman Cunningham. Aye. Councilman Rosenbaum. Nay. Councilman Novak. Aye. Councilman Gramarosa. Nay. Uh, Next item. Next. You got three votes. <laughs> three days. Three days. Four days. All right. So the next name is Ron Schaefer. Mr. Auditor, I'm sorry. Uh, Council Lenyugowski. Nay. Councilman Molenauer. Nay. Councilman Cunningham. Nay. Councilman Rosenbaum. Nay. Councilwoman Gramarosa. Aye. Councilman Novak. Aye. Councilman Garner. Aye. Three eyes, four nays. All right. We'll try the third one. Dwayne Miller. Mr. Auditor, would you call this? Councilman Novak. Aye. Councilwoman Gramarosa. Aye. Councilman Rosenbaum. Aye. Councilman Yagelski. Aye. Councilman Cunningham. Aye. Councilman Molauer. Nay. Councilman Garner. Nay. Four nays, three ayes. Motion fails. So what's your preference? So so we'll start over until we uh, we get four votes. So Next one again is uh, Mr. John Stimley. You got, a, you got enough auto, uh, randomly generated numbers there to make this happen? For now. <laughs> Councilman Cunningham. Aye. Councilman Yukelski. Aye. Councilman Molenauer. Aye. Councilwoman Gramarosa. Aye. Councilman Rosenbaum. Nay. Councilman Novak. Aye. And Councilman Garner. Nay. Four nays, three ayes. Motion fails. Next one is Ron Schaefer. Councilman Cunningham. That's where he came up. Sorry. Nay. Councilman Molenauer. Nay. Councilman Garner. Aye. Councilman Novak. Aye. Councilman Yagelski. Nay. Councilwoman Gramarosa. Aye. And Councilman Rosenbaum. Nay. Four nays, three ayes. Motion fails. Next one is Dwayne Miller. Councilman Rosenbaum. Aye. Councilman Novak. Nay. Councilwoman Gramarosa. Nay. Councilman Cunningham. Aye. Councilman Yagelski. Nay. Councilman Garner. Nay. And Councilman Molinar. Nay. Five nays, two eyes. Motion to So at some point, do we put him in a hat and pull one out? Huh? Second one's out. So we're going to take. So now we'll be down to. Stimley and Mr. So we're down to Mr. Stimley and Mr. Schaefer. So does everybody understand that the low vote getter is out? So. Does everybody understand? 
So we're going to vote yes. the next two votes. Two. Third time. Third time. Third time. Third time. We're down to two. Third time we get at home with you. So we're down to John Stimley and Ron Schaefer. A point of order, uh, the attorney was suggesting we're voting on Stimley. I'm just not clear. If, are, we, are we voting on Stimley or are, we, are the council people choosing between one of the two candidates and naming the candidate? Okay. Or no. you want to minus the first one. You know, you're doing. Okay. I'm sorry? Okay. Stimley starts off again. Stimley starts off? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mr. Auditor, Councilman Cunningham? Nay. Councilwoman Gramarosa? Nay. Councilman Rosenbaum? Nay. Councilman Garner. Nay. Councilman Yugowski. Aye. Councilman Molinar. Aye. Councilman Novak. Aye. Four nays, three ayes, motion fails. Now Ron Schaefer. Ron Schaefer, okay. Um, well, it could, this could be 4 3 2. It could be, I'm just, uh, I think he's still got a. Should be. Uh, oh. You're voting on Ron Schaefer, correct? Yes, yep. Yeah. Councilman Rosenbaum. Aye. Councilman Novak. Nay. Councilman Cunningham. Aye. Councilman Molinar. Nay. Councilman Yugoski. Nay. Councilman Garner. Aye. And Councilwoman Gramarosa. Aye. Four ayes, three nays. Mr. President, in the past when we've had it, Four or three again. In the past, we've had it where just, we had a tie. So at this point, I think in the order we're doing it, everybody states a name. I'm sorry, it's four eyes, three names. Oh, that's why I asked the tie. Mr. Shade for one. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Because I asked no obvious <laughs> thing. All right. It comes up again. Next one is the uh, Animal Control Board, which um, currently has um, it's actually a council appointment. Um, but um, I had uh, Dennis Carroll, senior, uh, was helping out on that, and so um, it's actually a county council um, appointment. So it's 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 uh, it's actually um, a county council member. So I'm the liaison there. So that's where that's at. Um, next item is the Laporte County. Board of Construction Review. Question? Yes, Mr. Before we proceed here, I want to make sure I understand what we just did on the Animal Control Board. So I'm going to be on that. Be okay. in the liaison. Okay. And then if you don't attend, you're actually sending someone else in your place? Is that what you're telling me? Correct. So do all of us have that same option if we're the liaison? No, no, no. This last year he was on there. So That's this, year, I'm, this year I'm going to come back on there. So 100% in favor of that. Thank you, sir. Dennis Carroll is not going to be there. No. Thank you. Right. So it defaults to you, um, President? What, what's the question? It defaults to you, Mr. President. It did. Mm -hmm. Being a council liaison, that's who's normally there. Last year, the council voted to put Dennis Carroll on there in my place, being the council liaison. So does that answer your question? So it was yours. You gave it to, to Dennis, Mr. Dennis, and I'm taking it. Now we're going to be in it. With the council's approval last year. What, Dennis, was, the, what was the reason? I don't recall, Randy. He wanted to be. He wanted to serve on a board and do it. So um, I was still in very contact, you know, with the uh, animal control board and everything. So that was the okay. only reason. Does anybody have any objections to that? Nope. All right. Next one is the Laporte County Board of Construction Review. That shows that it's commissioners. That's a commissioner, so they should not have an appointment tonight. on there. I don't know why it's highlighted on my sheet. Uh, 911 Advisory Board uh, is also, uh, that's my uh, liaison assignment. Um, so I will be serving on that one. Uh, I'm just listing out the ones that we have. Uh, we already done FMEC the other night. Uh, next one would be the Park and Rec Board. 
There's a Ronald Knickerham. Yeah, Knickerham. Yes. Is there a he served. He, he served. Right. In the past. So, what's your pleasure? Is uh, is appointment? Is uh, are there any nominations? Well, it's an automatic nomination. Is there any other nominations besides? No other nomination. This time for me. So is that a motion to move nominations be closed? Motion to close nominations. Second. Second by Mr. Jugowski. Um, all those in favor for Ronald? Give me the last name again. Nickerham. Nickerham. Uh, to continue to serve on the LaPorte County Park and Rec Board. Say aye. 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 Those opposed? So wait a minute. We just had no other nominations. Is that what just happened? Correct. Okay. Next item is the LaPorte County Planning Commission. And uh, Mr. Cunningham, Councilman Cunningham, it's, it's a council appointment, or a, and it's usually the liaison over there. And that's been assigned. Mr. Cunningham currently serves on there. So I would request that the council appoint. Councilman Cunningham to that position. Do you need a motion to approve? Do. Is that a motion? Do you need a no motion yes. to approve? Yes. yes. Second. Motion by Mr. Rosenbaum, second by Mr. Yagelski. What was that for? Because I couldn't catch it. LaPorte County Planning Commission. Okay, thank you. Right. So last year, uh, Councilman Sean Quinn was the liaison and he served on the board. So. This year, uh, Mr. it's assigned to Mr. Cunningham, so uh, he would like to stay on there. Is there anybody else? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. Next item on the agenda, on the uh, list, would be the Peter Boa, which is the Lepore County Property Tax Assessment Board of Appeals. Um, currently on there, we have Bob Bailey and Jamal Ajmi are the ones that currently serve on there. And I think the... Um Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion to reappoint both of those gentlemen. Second. Second. Got multiple seconds. All right. We have a motion by Mr. Molenauer, seconded by Mr. Cunningham, I think, and Mr. Rosenbaum, uh, no, Mr. Mr. Gardner. Are there any other questions? Any other nominations? Any other nominations? Hearing none. All those in favor of reappointing Bob Bailey and Jamal Ajmi, say aye. 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 Those opposed? Thank you. Okay, Mr. President, Mr. Yagelski, I'd just like to make, um, I know we got a lot of paperwork here, and it's very confusing on this type of stuff, but we, it should state that we had a person apply for it. I think that out of common courtesy, we should allow the vote to happen. And again, I, I apologize. We, have, we got a, a lot of paperwork right here, so. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we do appreciate anybody in put their name in. But I missed it because I'm sorry. No, I didn't see the name, so I'm looking for it. I think it was Mr. Hassan DeBasia. I, I would ask that we reconsider the vote, at least at least not, I ask for nominations for Mr. If anybody applies it. Mr. President? No. I thought, uh, I thought Mr. President. Yes, a uh, point of order well taken. I know exactly what you're going to say. His, his appointment letter came to us, but it's actually a commissioner's appointment. I think if you look at the bottom or something, that, that's where the confusion came in. And I stand corrected. So, uh, Mr. Moldenauer and I had Thank you, Mr. Moldenauer. Yeah. stand corrected. Thank you. I think that should be with the commissioners. Yes. Yeah. I, unless he was, unless he was removed back from back the commission, back. but yeah. as far as I know, he's no. still on. He's listed on there. Right. On that list that came out today. Mr. Mr. Schultz is here. He's verified that. Mr. Moldenauer. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right. So, then. Next one would be the Regional Sewer and Water District. There's a Clay Howard 
His term expired at the end of 2020. And uh, Gene Jonas, who served on there for many, many years, uh, had passed away uh, later in the year. And I don't believe we um, re-filled that vacancy. So, or if we did, I don't remember who they requested. Yeah. Are there any nominations? Are there any other nominations? Mr. President? Mr. Cunningham. Uh, I would nominate Dwayne Miller. Second. Mr. Do we have a motion and a second to nominate Dwayne Miller for one of the positions? Are there any other nominations? We have two positions. Clay Howard is on the is nominated because he's currently serving, uh, and then Dwayne Miller. Is there anybody else? Make a motion to close nominations. Not hearing anybody else. Second. Motion and a second to close nominations. All those in favor of Clay Howard and Dwayne Miller serving on the Regional Sewer and Water Board, say aye. All right. Aye. Aye. Those opposed. Thank you. Next one would be the um, solid waste uh, board. Point of order, can you clarify? I think I wasn't listening, but Gene Jonas was. Gene Jonas is past season. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know yes, that. right. He's no longer. Yeah. Unfiltered. Last, I think last fall sometimes. So, but he was on there for a long, long time and very. Um, Instrumental in making things happen out there. So, uh, next one is um, solid waste. Who's the lady? It's Mike Mullen. Yes. Right. So, uh, so he would be in the liaison appointment to that. He would stay on there. Correct. I mean, he's who's the liaison? Uh, who's who's at the appointment? Him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so we don't need to do anything. For four years, I think. We don't need to do anything with that one, then. Uh, I think that's it. Is there anybody else that anybody can think of that we missed? It's on my list. I think that's it. I, I apologize for the confusion over how some okay. you. Which one? The first one. We did that. All right. Whew. All right. Liaison reports. Mr. Rosenbaum, would you like to lead off with the? I'm just going to pass now and pick up next one. All right, Mr. Egels. Yeah, Mr. President, I know that we didn't have, we did not know who our some of our liaisons were. So, I just want to point out that there's some question, uh, concerns, and misinformation. Uh, when I started working in the council, there used to be a separate table for um, uh, for the uh, newspapers, radio, media, everybody. They would come and interview you. They ask questions. We had a, we had the thing we thought about the bridge on Franklin Street Bridge. I just like to re reinstate that uh, there was some misinformation. Nobody called me. Nobody. I don't think someone called any of the members here that are on the council, Mr. President. If there is, but they wrote an article about it. Unfortunately, I don't like the way the media does this stuff now. But this is what we're stuck with. So, um, just let everybody know that we just can't replace this bridge. The bridge is like an antique bridge. It's, it, they call it a select bridge. However, we want to use terminology. That means that we would have to find either A, a source to put it somewhere else, maybe down the river where it wouldn't be open and closed, but somebody could still use it, look at it, and use it. Or B, we could build one beside it. Or C, with permission, you could use, try to use, or to have some of the facade implemented into the new style bridge. That's, that's not our choice. We had to work under state guidelines in that. So we are not tearing down any bridge. There was never a word about that. When we look at new bridges, we're going to have to look at our legislators and see what they're going to allow us to do. So, uh, just, I'm sorry. If there was misinformation, again, I wish the media would cover it better. I wish they were here. I wish we had a, a better presence so that those things don't get misconfused. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Yugoski. Uh Mr. Cunningham, you have anything? 
Uh, not yet. I will attend the uh, Planning Commission meeting tomorrow night. Thank you. Mr. Moldauer? Uh, yes, I've got, uh, well, since our last regular meeting in no on November 2020, I've got a total of 20 items, but uh, for fear that uh, most likely I get a lot of hate mail from you, well, I would, uh, I'm just going to report on two of them. Uh, the first one is uh, January 13th, um, give me a second. January 13th, I attended the LaPorte County uh, Solid Waste District Board meeting. Um, and uh, what I want to report on that is there will be a public hearing on that uh, possibility of uh, raising um, the fees. And that's going to be February 10th at 6.30 p.m. Um, and uh, then we'll have a board meeting, uh, well, it's a public meeting, public hearing, and then our board meeting will immediately follow that. Um, I know um, we've done quite a bit of discussion on it, and from what I understand, we may also have a workshop on it very soon before the 10th, because uh, to try and scrutinize some, some things, some figures, the uh, last thing we want to do is raise the, the uh, fees, but... The landfill is really basically ran out of money, so when we sure don't want to, at the same time, we sure don't want to uh, reduce services if we can help that, because I think um, I think we're pretty fortunate in this county to have uh, all the services that we've got with uh, curbside pickup, and uh, I know it's a great improvement with that landfill out there for all the public to uh, bring their uh, refuge. So, and you know, if we start reducing services, then we start finding things along the road again. And I think it's been pretty, uh, pretty good since uh, since that's been taken care of properly. So there will be a public hearing though on the 10th at 6.30. Um, the last thing I have is um, January, yeah, January 19th. I attended the Laporte County Board of Health quarterly meeting and um, the resignation of uh, health administrator, and I think I mentioned that at our last meeting or somebody did, uh, Tony Mancuso. He'll be leaving the end of February. I forget the exact date, but anyway, he's going to be working with the new administrator. And, uh, of course, there was uh, applications during the month of, uh, I think, November, December, uh, HR worked on scrutinizing them, uh, interviews by that board, and um, make a long story short, they uh, uh, recommended and voted at, at that meeting on the 19th to uh, give the new admin, the administrator's position to uh, it's a present employee. I think she's a pet six right now in the health department. It's Amanda Liner, I believe is how she pronounces her last name. So. Um, that is all I think I'll, I've got right now that needed to be reported on. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Molnar. Ms. Gramarosa, you have anything? You're muted. Oops, sorry. sorry about that. I said yes. I, re I uh, attended January 21st the Laporte County Regional Sewer and Water District. Um, meeting and they are going ahead. They're working in Rolling Prairie and they should have that sewer system, the second phase done by August of this year. Um, so people will be able to voluntarily hook up to the sewer between August and January 1st and then after January it will be man uh, mandatory. It's a, it's a District that actually it's, it's self-funded, so they don't have to come to us for money. So it pretty much it's it's by itself, and it's the only one that I was able to attend. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gardner. Uh, I'm going to pass, but Mark and I have both been placed on the uh, buildings with uh, which Larry has. Uh, uh, graciously taking all of us around to look at the building we're considering on our agenda not tonight. And uh, after reviewing it with him, I think we're all understanding that it is a possibility. So that's it. Great. Thank you. I'm going to pass uh, for the sake of time. So um, any correspondence, Mr. Otter? No. Great. All right. We'll move on to 
ordinances and resolutions. First item is resolution number 2021-1, a resolution on LaPorte County Council declaring a portion of LaPorte County, Indiana, the economic revitalization area pursuant to Indiana Code 6-1.1-12.1-1. Mr. Tony Rodriguez. Good evening, Mr. President, members of the Council. It is uh, truly my genuine pleasure to present to you for your consideration of declaring the shown property. which uh, identifies the subject area that uh, I am referring to. Uh, I would also be remiss if I did not point out, uh, while we're not giving the formal presentation this evening, um, I noticed that the both uh, company representatives uh, have taken it upon themselves to join. Uh, I would imagine to answer any questions, but our intention is to give you a thorough and very comprehensive presentation during and prior to the public hearing, uh, this is a the first in a two-step process pursuant to the Indiana Code that you just referred to. I won't repeat. Um, and we would ask that the public hearing be set for uh, your next uh, county regularly scheduled county council meeting on the 22nd of February, if I'm not mistaken, at 6.30 p.m., um, and again, we would request that uh, at that time that uh, a public hearing be held. We will handle the publication and notices uh, and then present at that time a detailed statement of benefits. Councilman Rosenbaum has brought to my attention that Exhibit B was excluded in the application. Um, we are, my understanding, and I'm trying to follow uh, the exact and customary process that's the way uh, this has been handled in the past. Um, so we are going to be uh, highly prepared to, uh, to present this in great detail at the next uh, county council meeting. Uh, but I uh, would uh, also just like to add, this is a, uh, a, a long-time LaPorte County company, and uh, we would... Uh, urge your support this evening so that we can get to the second and most important meeting of this uh, of this presentation in an attempt to retain this uh, very notable manufacturing company in our county. So could you give us a little background on who the company is and what, oh, just so that the public knows what we're Oh, sure. Yeah. EPAC Machinery Inc. is a, uh, is a manufacturer of automated electronic liquid filling equipment. They employ, as of today, 64 permanent full-time manufacturing jobs um, and a, an approximate payroll last year of a, approximately $2.4 million. Um, and it, yeah, I feel like I'd be doing a disservice to go into any more great detail. I, we, we hope to have an automated uh, presentation that will be... Um, we're going to show the people at home. Oh, sure. Yeah, very good. That's a, that's a great idea. Good. Keep talking. But the subject property that we're referring to is located on Highway 39. Um, it is a, a property that, uh, with the addition of the small parcel that's being added, they will have the ability to add approximately 30,000 square feet of new manufacturing space. Um, but the I, I'd be remiss... Uh, if I didn't mention the what's driving this entire package and our pre presentation this evening is to uh, work with our existing manufacturing base in LaPorte County uh, in an attempt to retain them and outcompete our neighboring state of Michigan, uh, which would be uh, a likely candidate for an investment of, uh, of a signi significant nature. So um, we are... Uh, and as a result of a very uh, intense meeting with the company ownership, uh, went through a comprehensive proposal in the business retention expansion visit, uh, and we we very much look forward to presenting to you um, at the next uh, 
have the next regularly scheduled council meeting the detailed proposal. So hopefully that gives gives the public an idea uh, of, of what we're talking about here. Do the owners want to speak? Excuse me. Do the owners want to speak? Would uh, Would Mr. Swiderski be interested in making any comment at this point? I know, as I mentioned, Mr. President, I know it's uh, uh, this evening is is step one in a two step process. <clears throat> And I think Commissioner Rosinski did a tremendous job in, in giving a, a snapshot overview. We, this year, uh, I, I believe we're in a, in just a tremendous position to be kicking off 2021 with a, uh, such a significant potential expansion, uh, with a company that has such a, uh, an impact on LaPorte County. Um, we, well, Folks in the media get excited about new industry and new job creation. We, as a responsible economic development entity, uh, you start with taking care of business at home. That's exactly what this is doing. You, you take care of what you have first, and uh, we have been in discussions with this company now over the period of the last 18 months. Um, and doing everything we possibly can, working cooperatively with the state of Indiana's Economic Development Corporation, uh, all of the entities that assist in training highly skilled advanced manufacturing jobs. Um, and I would just applaud at every step of the way. They've been extremely welcoming to our efforts, and uh, we're fortunate to be in the position to consider this application this evening. So, and again, just in conclusion, tonight is step one in a two-step process. Um, for those looking at home, what you see on the map here, and I appreciate uh, the council attorney for getting our, our photos straight there, and, uh, but what you're seeing is Highway 39 for physical orientation. This is in the backyard of LaPorte's Municipal Airport. Um, the small parcel to the north, which is it referred to in the application there in, and on the resolution as the northerly parcel, is just slightly less than two acres, and that's presenting this opportunity to to make this 30,000 square foot uh, expansion and allow us to outcompete the state of Michigan and retain this uh, significant advanced manufacturer in, in LaPorte County, Indiana. Does the owner want to come? Tony, would you like to make any comment at all? And, and again, right. clarifying, we'll, we'll be doing a, our detailed presentation at, at your next meeting. Hello, everybody. Uh, basically, Jeff and myself are here answering questions you may have, but echoing on Mr. What, what Mr. Rodriguez said, uh, our business has been very fortunate over the last 10 years at the, as far as growth as well. During this challenge of COVID, uh, with, with where other businesses are seeing a downturn, we've been fortunate with an upturn in our normal book of business, as well as uh, we've had an increased book of business for sanitizers and disinfectant machines to bottle that type of equipment. So the, the demand right now that we have for space is very painful because of that uptick. But we've already been planning a, uh, an expansion, and I've been looking as Mr. Rodriguez said, to Michigan and Buffalo, because we also have two facilities that I'm uh, a facility in each uh, state from those areas that I'm also the president over. So we've been vetting those district compliance and efforts and some kind of synergies for those business, businesses and areas of the main staff. So that's what brings us to reach out to the county for that point. I'm not that as well, but I know I'm not to 
So that we do have to put it in the chairs, it has to be specified in the general fund, and it has to say chairs reimbursement. Now, what you want to spend on is another story. Um, you know, I, I see what you're saying, and you, you can probably spend it on what you want. However, it's my opinion. And I don't have anything in writing that we would do better either way. The memo also said that it has to be, I think I said this, but I'll say it again. It has to be specified that this is care of money. But then it can be appropriated for whatever use you need or want by the council. The, the commission had to put it into the general fund.
in the Holy Ghost. You know, it's not the original Jesus Christ who's on earth. But we, we actually have this for them already, and it's not tallying up to 230,000. We're, we're telling you that you're just by having completed by the good thing. Correct. If you're caught for the people, yes. Yes. We may be in the coming of the Son of the Father. Praise God. We have a So, coming up, Rule 26 is focused on this battery line on the list. 
time. So we do some number crunching and found that 272 dependents from January 1st to May 22nd qualified for that for 2026. And we have the investigation. Out of the 187 were released in under three days. So that's the less than half, less than half of the year. And the rest were reduced due to COVID 19. So there's really no way to say how many people we kept on the day. But we talked to Sam Floyd, and uh, uh, the average day uh, for 2020 was 41 days and 18.8 for this In 2016, it was 27.7 for felonies and 16.3 for misdemeanors. So we did some passing with those numbers and it would cost two price rates on the old production deals, $32, roughly 17 cents. So if we average that 18.8 in application for all those people who are really eligible, those 107 people, and we multiply it times for $32.17, that is a savings of $190,000 for the whole year. So, I don't know if you answered that question specifically about how many people that we keep out of jail. There's really no way to discern that. Um, and we can make some correlations. Um, so, do you have anything you want to add? No, really, I think you've pretty much covered it. Um, you know, these are best estimates looking at the information that we have. I wish we could give you absolutes. Don't get the plan, but hopefully that um, that gives you some some parameters of like an answer for you. Um, both down Councilman Miller and Councilman Cunningham. I think we have to see that you can't get us absolutes. I think you've done a wonderful job of giving us the customers and starting to get some cost that we can do that as I have to say. Keep it so much job.
the last of the right We think of what we do, and now we seem to figure out how we do that as opposed to working from the ground. We have employees that are able to do it, but we sometimes come and jump on other things. This is the one that's the need to the fact that we've been attacking these things throughout the years. Again, they do get some good things on the back of the system to stop the system. The general consensus that I'm hearing is they don't have a problem with falling and going down. They don't kind of something that's needed to assist the neighborhood of the community. But we, we've never had an issue with any of this, the fact that it's just a thing to stop. If there is no other questions or comments, we now have some famous things in mind. I have a Three years that I've been involved with the town.
Thank you.